What's up, everybody? It's your internet bestie, Eris, and I would like to welcome you or welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I got a word from the Lord, and I have to be obedient. Um, but the title of this message is, God is waiting for an invitation. God is waiting on an invitation. A lot of us don't realize that God is a gentleman. Um, and because he gives you free will, he's not just going to force himself into your situation. There is times where he will, but a lot of times we're just trying to handle things on our own. We're trying to make sense of stuff that's um, not supposed to make sense of us. We're trying to use logic and reasoning over faith and gratitude and yeah. And so God is saying he's just waiting for the invitation. If you can get up and, and think about, you know, texting a dude good morning or whatever, you know, you can get up and say good morning to God and invite him into your day. I'm going to tell you, um, since I've been doing that, an uh, instant that just happened to me yesterday. So I started waking up and praying. I actually made a vision, not a vision board because I haven't transferred the scriptures onto the board yet. But I picked each topic of my life that I needed help work on that um that if i woke up in the morning and said that would put me in protection and put me in the right mindset or whatever and i have started going over these scriptures in the morning and you know as i'm saying the scriptures back to him and you know letting him know what it says in his word and that i believe what his word says and i'm saying it back to him i'm also turning it into a prayer so um Right now, I'm heavily in restoration because it's restoration season. So, you know, uh, I say, God, help me to rejoice. Like Psalm 51 and 12, restore me to the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. You know, that's what I was saying in the morning. Um, God, I, and then Joel 225, I, I reword it and I say, God, I want to thank you for restoring to me the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm. Um... Thank you that I shall eat in plenty and help me to be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God. For you have dealt wondrously with me and not let me be put to shame. <clears throat> I know, God, that the suffering that you said in your word, the suffering of this present time is not worthy to com be compared to the glory that is going to be revealed in me, God. So I want to thank you for revealing your glory for restoring what is going on in my life. And God, I would like to invite you into, I've been inviting him into every situation before. God, I want to invite you into my day today. I want you to invite me into my decision making today. Invite me into my, in, I want to invite you into my YouTube channel. You know, um, guide me, um, give me strength. Um, it says in the Bible in Philippians 4.13 that, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. So, God, give me the strength to carry out your plan for my life and fight my flesh, God. I'm inviting you into my finances, inviting you into my heart. I'm inviting you into this relationship that I'm pursuing. Um, and if I'm not supposed to be per pursuing, I'm inviting you in to fill the void, God, um, as I let this person go. Anyways, it's been just like that. Just invite him in everything. And God cares about the little details down to your nails, your hair, everything I've been asking him for lately since I've been waking up and seeking God first because the scripture says wake up and seek God first and all things will be added unto you. He really means all things and he cares about the details. So he wants you to bring the details to him as well as the things that you feel is more serious. And then you have to, you know, Ask him to help you be content while you're um, patiently waiting for things to come along. But a lot of y'all are patiently waiting or un impatiently waiting because you never asked him. You never invited him. God, help me to be manage my time better. And then after he gives you a word back, you need to listen. So if you ask God, God, help me to manage my time better. And you sit and he, and he shows you, he asks, well, what do you think most of your time has been sitting on, been used on? And I would respond, scrolling on social media. It takes a lot of my brain. It drains me. I get on there. I get stuck. I get per, per, scroll paralysis is what I call it. And I'm talking to somebody right now. Um, and then he tells you, 
all right you get off social media for a few days let's fast from the shade room let's stop indulging on tiktok um for a while and instead you you ask for his help and then you be disobedient and you're not getting better time management and so this is something i have to work out so you i would i would then turn that into a fast and i would say god um uh, i'm going to sacrifice um my social media time god um show me what you would like me to do to this other time once you get off social media because first you ask then he answers tells you what to do and then you have to be obedient then you have to be obedient and then as i get off i find as i get off social media i have time i get this word and i come bring it on and say he's like hey hey i got this message for you i would like you to just get up here and turn your camera on and begin speaking and i will give you the words to say and it's just like that we ask we listen we obey we hear and then we receive and then we wait and we do this all over again so if you know you're having um a problem with social media or time management or money management invite god in if you know that you're having a difficult time um you know letting go of certain relationships and things that are distracting you from your higher purpose right now let God know that you, you're going to need help with this, that you can't do this alone, that I'm not strong enough by myself, but with you, I can do all things. And so, anyways, back to the story time of yesterday. So, I, you know, I invited God into my morning. You know, I asked him to come through with me throughout all the day and give me favor. And when I say a police pulled me over that morning, a police pulled me over, my registration for my car is suspended two days before that i asked god i invited him into my car insurance situation because i haven't had car insurance over a year and I, I invited god in and i ended up with car insurance two days before i got pulled over when i was pulled over my tag little sticky with the september on it it was october um first and it was expired. So I had an expired tag. My registration for my car um, was suspended and canceled. Um, but luckily, I did have insurance on my car. Do you know the police officer let me go? Because what did I do? And then it's even when you're in the wrong, God will step in for you if you seek him first, if you come to him first. Because guess how, why he stopped me? I ran a red light. I mean, I ran a um, stop sign right in front of his face. I'm one of the most reckless drivers. And I'm, I'm inviting God to help me to not do that as well, which he really just did with that situation. Because I will run every stop sign on the block. I don't care. I'll go around people if I feel like they're going too slow at the stop sign. Somebody stop at the stop sign. I'm liable to be the person to just drive around. But I straight up ran it, and he he was sitting right there. I didn't even see him because I was on the phone. I was like, I ain't finna stop at no stop sign. And he said, hey. He just said, hey, be more careful. <laughs> and if that wasn't nothing but God, because he went back there and he looked up my stuff with my insurance and my and my ID. And I know doggone well he saw that my registration wasn't canceled. He didn't even ask me for my registration. But I know he's seen that, you know, my tag was expired and also my registration was gone. So, you know. Like I said, invite God in. And um, a lot of us are dealing with unnecessary anxiety. Um, when really God just wants you to come talk to him. I have been practicing every time an emotion rises up in me. Um, like anger or guilt or shame. Um, or anything that I feel. I, instead of me holding it in and bottling it in and just trying to handle it myself. I go sit somewhere and I be like, God, this is how I'm feeling right now. God wants to hear your most vulnerable thoughts and it doesn't care what like he doesn't care how it sounds to anyone else i have straight up told him like i'm really not feeling this walk with god anymore I, like i have been to the point where i've been getting things off my chest i'm low on faith um i'm starting not to even believe the words i'm speaking because da 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 and as i come to him and i listen to him and ask for confirmation that's another thing you can ask him for confirmation. Like, God, show me something today. Um, 
with the situation with this relationship and he sh showed me what he wanted me to know a video came right to my phone as soon as i clicked on youtube uh, about that situation two two different videos since i asked about the situation and i know it wasn't nothing but confirmation and i know this word right here is a confirmation for somebody so if you feel like this word is for you uh, I want you to drop in the comments that I come in agreement with this word. Um, by the way, surprise coming up. Um, I'm about to start paying my tithes to my subscribers. I'm about to start paying my tithes through y'all. So uh, connect, subscribe. Um, the people who can comment on the videos. Um, I'm going to be the people who are supporting me, commenting, liking, thumbs up. I'm going to just pick somebody in the comments. Um, cause, um, starting like after the 18th, um, just pick somebody in the comments who left a comment and, you know, this might be where you feel like you have a safe space to say what your situation is. You might be like, I'm going through the same thing right now, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to pick somebody in the comments, um, and I'm going to say, Hey, send me your cash up. Now, don't drop your, don't drop your cash up in the comments, but I am going to just write you and I'm going to say, um, I'm going to comment, respond to your comment, and I'm going to say, hey, what's your cash app? And that's how I'll be paying my tithes. I want to give back. Because I do a desire to be one of those influencers that you just see, like, um, calling Uber drivers or something, and then just blessing them, or DoorDash, and just blessing them. Like, I would love to be one of those um, creators. So, yeah. Um, that's the word for the day, though. He He's just waiting for an invitation. Um, it's like those people, like, you know, say... You feel like, ain't nobody checking on me. Don't nobody understand me. Ain't nobody. But you ain't calling nobody. And don't nobody know that you're going through no, no, nothing because you can shut everybody out. When they text you, you don't text them back type of thing. When he sends you a sign or reach out to you or gives you a nudge, you don't want to hear what he has to say. And really, everything he says is for the good of you. God works everything out for you in his glory. Even if, it, even if it doesn't look like it, even if it doesn't feel like it, you're not the only person going through things and you don't know why you're holding it in the person that you should be talking to is also going through the same things as you and y'all are both helping each other see things from a different perspective i've been so afraid to look a certain way in front of a homegirl so i really like leave a lot of stuff out when i talk to her but the yesterday yesterday i just started to like spill all the beans and baby she gave me some good perspective i gave her some good perspective we gave each other some good scriptures and stuff and it i had like almost a two-hour conversation with her and i felt so happy after that i felt so good after that so yeah that's what i gotta say that's what um i have to say um sometimes you're looking for outside um and waiting on certain friends or relationship or partners and you 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 haven't even cultivated a relationship with the ones he gave you i don't know who that's for <laughs> um but yeah i love y'all i wish y'all the best i really advise y'all to start working on a prayer board it has been changing my life literally um vlog coming soon on me doing a prayer board right now um you know i'm in between blessings waiting on some funds i got a new job i just started and I don't even get um, <clears throat> paid to the 18th to be able to go do the stuff I need to do. But if anybody would like to sow a seed, I will drop my cash out in the um, description box. So you can sow a seed into my ministry as it grows. And um, yes, I'm glad I decided to get on here and be obedient. Um, I remember when I first started doing these words, I didn't think I was that good at them. I would have to take a bunch of notes and be looking down at my notes and now i'm so like it didn't take that long to get used to doing this and speaking freely and saying what's going on in my heart and saying what god wants me to say because it literally just started coming to to me like god just wants you to show up he wants you to show up he wants you to advocate for him the way he advocates for you there's a many situations that he got you out of and you didn't even acknowledge the fact or even like put two and two together that that was god i'm so glad i wasn't i didn't didn't make it with that relationship because wow look what i have now look what's on the way to me like you know what i'm saying so 
<laughs> yeah. Um, write down the scripture for fear. Whatever. If you just do one thing, if you just start one area of your life, if you know that you have fear of rejection, abandonment, of being hurt again, fear of success, fear of anything, then find those scriptures on fear and focus on that for the next week and just see how you change, like life changes. Go sit in your backyard and if you got to, and go out there and talk to him. He accepts you just as you are right then. Because that's how I started. Like Sometimes I get high. And then I just really feel vulnerable. And I'm not saying for you to do this. I'm just saying this for people who already have the habit. And you have a hard time getting vulnerable. Like This is literally for somebody. Because I don't even know why I brought that up. Um, Go outside in your backyard. And you, you let God know. My heart is heavy, God. Um, this is how I'm feeling. This is what I've been thinking lately. Um, and be, if you angry with him, let him know you angry. And then ask him for forgiveness. That's the last thing I want to say. Ask him for forgiveness for being angry. Forgiveness for holding grudges against people. Forgive yourself. Let yourself know that I forgive myself as well for letting things affect my my mind to the point that it's showing up in my body through illnesses and pain. All right, and that's the word for today. Invite God in, talk to him, be vulnerable, be obedient, listen, and let him know what you know about his word because his word will never return for it. God, your word will never return for it. <clears throat> yeah. So this is good, y'all. I'm, I'm really like... um. There's this content that I want to do, and I'm going to invite God into it because I don't really know where he wants me to. I don't know if he wants me to make a new channel or what. It, but I'm trying to, like, I don't want to be put in a box, but usually will push you in a box if you don't have enough supporters. So, you know, start supporting the vlogs more. If you come here and you listen, you know, drop a comment. Drop a comment. You don't know how you're missing your blessing by not supporting somebody else. The more I start supporting other people, the more support I gained on my channel. So anyways, I have a goal of 20,000 subscribers um, before the end of this year. If you would like to help me reach that goal, watch all the videos to the end. Watch the um, a, a, a little five seconds of the, <laughs> of the ad. Like, drop a comment. Let me know how, you know, this word... Um, minister to you in what way what you're going through and yeah let this be your safe space if you if you want to talk to him right under these comments do so do so get a diary app on your phone that's what i got yeah but um i love y'all